adventures. Greetings and salutations viewers. Chook here with Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I can't tell you how much I have enjoyed sharing the joy of the Ruger Toklat 454 Casul with the world and this gun is safe. There is nothing in the revolver, nothing in the cylinder, but I can't tell you how many times I've met people who have said, hey, Chook, thanks to you, I have a Ruger Toklat. In fact, a buddy from Instagram just told me that he bought a second one. He doesn't even know why. He just wanted a second one. And I, I can't blame him. I wish I had a second one. I have touted this as the greatest Alaskan Bush pistol revolver you can buy. And I, I agree with that. Even Chuck from Alaska Ballistics says that this is the number one choice in bear defense revolvers out of anything you could have in the world. And the, it's interesting the reason why. The reason is not the caliber. It is not because 454 Kasul is better than every big bore revolver caliber out there. Although it is in the top ratings, I'm, I'm not going to deny that. It's a hard hitting caliber, you know, it's 75% extra energy than a 44 Magnum, which I, I like in its own right. But because if that was the case, then I might pick the Smith & Wesson 460, 460 Smith & Wesson or whatever, because that hits very hard and, and you can shoot 454 out of it and some other rounds. It is nice that you can shoot 45 long cold after the, I also like the Smith & Wesson 500. I had one of those and I was very fond of it. But that is, the caliber is not the reason. The reason is the gun itself. Ruger put a lot of thought into designing this for the Northern country in regards to surviving dangerous game in the North. So let's take a closer look at this revolver and see why it is so outstanding. All right, here we have the Ruger Toklat in all its glory. Big shout out to Ruger for even naming it the Toklat. It's a river in the interior of Alaska. So they're definitely keeping Alaskans in mind when designing this gun. So this is a special gun. It's a limited edition from Lipsy. So they upgraded a few of the things like the Hogue rubber grips. Um, normally, it does not come bead blasted like this. This is a special edition from Wild West Guns here in Alaska where they bead blasted everything except for this part of the cylinder, kind of a neat effect. So it's not as reflective when out in the wild. It has actually had a trigger job too. Usually, it's a pretty stout double action squeeze, but this is just smooth. It feels like a Smith & Wesson trigger. So if you get it, get one of these, consider getting the Wolverine package or some of the packages that Wild West Guns offers. So first of all, it's just tough. They, Ruger put so much extra metal into this. They are just known for reliable, tough revolvers. And of course, it's part of the Super Red Hawk line. That is one of the main reasons why you can trust this revolver with your life. It is People just beat the heck out of these. It's going to keep on going. It's a tough revolver. It is very heavy. It can handle the stiff recoil. It's over three pounds. But the second reason is it's got a full five-inch barrel. Now, I know I tout the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskans a lot, and I do think they're a good little survival gun, but the Alaskan is basically looks just like that. It's the same size frame. It's just the barrel is cut right there, but you get a lot more velocity, and really, you can get close to everything the box says on 454 rounds with this, and that's what's so amazing about the 454 Casul is you've got, you know, a 350 grain lead pill, and just for reference, this is a nine millimeter compared to the 454 Casul. You can see how much larger that is, and hot loads, you're getting a bullet like this going screaming, 1600 to 1900 feet per second sometimes a little more i mean that you're talking 2000 foot pounds 
of killing energy. And that's just, that will stop a bear. No question. It is just a devastating, dangerous game round for a pistol. Recoil is very stout. I'm not going to lie. I'll throw up some footage of my buddy, Michael Kaler. He's one of our Alaskan friends here. Check out his channel, uh, shooting this. And it was just a lot of fun. All right, rolling. Nice. I like it. Heck yeah. Definitely lets you know it was there. Yeah. So as you can see, it is a very stout recoil. That's why they got these kind of rubber, the Hogue style grips on here. It does help manage recoil. Also, the weight itself of the gun helps manage recoil. It's got these adjustable sights. Very nice sights. I'm a fan of it. Six rounds, of course. Just everything about this revolver I love. I still say it's the top choice in a dangerous game revolver for the North Country. Now, they did stop making these, I believe, but they made so many that you could still find a brand new one. They're not that incredibly hard to find. They're harder to find than a lot of production guns that are still coming out, but you can still get them. So let me know what you guys think. I'm keeping this one forever. I know I do a lot of trading and getting rid of stuff, but there's no way I'm getting rid of this. And Chuck has threatened to slap me if I ever, ever do him and all the other last. Also, before I forget, this is my just in case chest holster. And I don't think you can get a better setup than this. Before I was a big fan of Diamond D's, you know, the guy's chest holster, which I still like, but now I go for one of these every time. Just in case, did send me this, but for every holster he sends me, I buy another one from him because I like his work so much. He's got his brand stamp there, his veg tan leather. He'll do it in any color or stitching leather you like, but just an amazing holster. Great way to carry your dangerous game revolver <laughs> beautiful don't think you can get better let me know if you guys think there's something better than this I, I really don't believe there is see you guys next time my name is two i like to trade my guns just for fun but now i have none oh no get chucked by a bear but i don't care i got a 10 Shoot out adventures! Why should you call us die every time?